America's newest nuclear stealth bomber, is making its public debut after years of secret development, and as part of the Pentagon's answer to rising concerns over future conflicts. The B-21 Raider is the first new American bomber aircraft in more than 30 years. Almost every aspect of the program is classified. Ahead of its unveiling on Friday the 2nd of December, 2022 at an Air Force facility in Palmdale, California, only artists' renderings of the warplane have been released. Those few images reveal that the radar resembles the black nuclear stealth bomber it will eventually replace, the B-2 Spirit. The bomber is part of the Pentagon's efforts to modernize all three legs of its nuclear triad, which includes silo-launched nuclear ballistic missiles and submarine-launched warheads, as it shifts from the counter-terrorism campaigns of recent decades to meet China's rapid military modernization. We needed a new bomb for the 21st century that would allow us to take on much more complicated threats, like the threats that we fear we would one day face from China or Russia, said Deborah Lee James, the Air Force Secretary, when the radar contract was announced in 2015. The B-21 is more survivable and can take on these much more difficult threats. While the radar may resemble the B-2, once you get inside, the similarities stop, said Kathy Warden, chief executive of Northrop Grumman Corporation, which is building the radar. The way it operates internally is extremely advanced compared to the B-2, because the technology has evolved so much in terms of the computing capability that we can now embed in the software of the B-21, Warden said. Other changes likely include advanced materials used in coatings to make the bomber harder to detect. New ways to control electronic emissions so the bomber could spoof adversary radars and disguise itself as another object. And the use of new propulsion technologies, several defense analysts said. In a fact sheet, Northrop Grumman, based in Falls Church, Virginia, said it is using new manufacturing techniques and materials to ensure the B-21 will defeat the anti-access area denial systems it will face. Warden could not discuss specifics of those technologies, but said the bomber will be more stealthy. When we talk about low observability, it is incredibly low observability, Warden said. You'll hear it, but you really won't see it. 6. B-21 Raiders are in production. The Air Force plans to build 100 that can deploy either nuclear weapons or conventional bombs, and can be used with or without a human crew. Both the Air Force and Northrop also point to the Raiders' relatively quick development, the bomber went from contract award to debut in seven years. Other new fighter and ship programs have taken decades. The cost of the bombers is unknown. The Air Force previously put the price for a buy of 100 aircraft at an average cost of $550 million each in 2010, but that cost is roughly $753 million today and it's unclear how much the Air Force is actually spending. The radar will not make its first flight until 2023. However, using advanced computing, Warden said, Northrop Grumman has been testing the radar's performance using a digital twin, a virtual replica of the one being unveiled. The B-21 radar, which takes its name from the 1942 Doolittle raid over Tokyo, will be slightly smaller than the B-2, to increase its range, Warden said. Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, will house the bomber's first training program and squadron, though the bombers are also expected to be stationed at bases in Texas and Missouri. U.S. Senator Mike Rounds, a Republican of South Dakota, has led the state's bid to host the bomber program. In a statement, he called the B-21, the most advanced weapon system ever developed by our country to defend ourselves and our allies.